Hey, Loopline here, and today I want to tell you about premium plugins for Scrapebox. When you purchase Scrapebox, you get your core functionality and then you get the add-ons menu, which gives you a lot of add-ons that you can install, and these are all free add-ons. Scrapebox is now going to be offering what's called premium plugins, starting in version 15.53, and premium plugins are an additional cost, but they offer functionality that would not normally be included in Scrapebox. So basically you would click premium plugins, available plugins, and the first plugin is going to be a rank tracker. So you can track your ranking for all of your websites. So I have it installed and up and running here. And this is the rank tracker version 1.0.0.0. And so basically I'm just going to take you through it. There's several different things. We have the file menu, which is pretty basic. You can exit out. The projects menu, which you can manage projects, and I'll show you in a minute. And then options menu, where you can set up proxies. And when you click set up proxies, it just gives you a box that you can load in proxies or paste in proxies, and away you go. So under project setup, uh, you get to manage your projects. And so on here on the left, you can see your actual projects that you have. Uh, and then you can create a new project, so give it a name. Uh, give it a URL or a domain name and then a list of keywords. And so walking through this, if we wanted to check domain only here, let's give this a name, so just call it Scrapebox. And if I put in, for instance, I don't know if this is an actual URL, but if I wanted to track this particular inner URL, I can punch that in. If I check domain only, it will come up and look for any URL that is on this domain of Scrapebox, so forward slash anything or just scrapebox.com. If I don't check that, then I get just the exact URL I put in. When I hit check, it'll pop open in a browser uh, and it'll verify that I've typed in the right URL so we aren't tracking rankings for the wrong URL and wondering why nothing ranks. And so then I get the option to punch in keywords, so I can punch in you know my different keywords that I want to do. Uh, quite an extensive list you can do there. And then we have settings for Google, Yahoo, and Bing. Each offer the option to use that particular engine. You can check it, whether or not we want to use proxies for that particular engine, if I want to set a delay in seconds. And then um, for Yahoo, I get uh, language settings as well as for Bing. And then Google, I get even more. I get language settings and I even get Google domains. So I can go through here and pick any particular custom Google that I want to track rankings on which is very nice. When I'm done, I hit add as a new project and away we go, it's over here. So if I wanted to click on one that's already running, for instance, like scrape stuff, you can see kind of how it all looks with everything punched in. You also have the option down here to stop when URL is found. So if I was gonna punch in say 500 URLs here and uh, it shows up in the first 10 URLs on page one, then I can check this off and the rank tracker won't continue to go through all 500 pages. Now, the reason you might want to leave it, let it go through all 500 pages is if you're checking just the domain name and you want it to be able to scroll through and find where all of your inner pages rank for any given term, up to 500 deep, you could do that. But if you're just really looking for to see if your site ranks as an overall concept of ranking for that particular term, then uh, you can check this off. Uh, and go to town. So I'm not going to go ahead and change it. If you click on a project, you have to hit update selected project. Otherwise, when you click close, it won't change any of your details. So once I have that done, uh, my projects show up here and I can just drop down into any of them anytime. And so I've already got scrape stuff pulled up here. If I wanted to check it, I would just hit check. And then obviously abort's pretty basic. And when you check it, it'll say, you know, checking the engines and it'll run through everything. When I get done, I have a nice little export option where I can export all of this data to Excel. And then when I'm going through here, I get the option to look at Google, Yahoo, and Bing individually. So if I click over to each one of those, I can see where my rankings are for those particular terms and those things there. It's all color coded, so I've got black is gonna be no change. Uh, green is gonna be change, obviously plus, and then uh, red is gonna be a change in the negative. So I've got my current rank, previous rank, what that change is, and the date that it was last checked. So as you click on one, you can see over here, it brings up all of the search results. And as you scroll down, this one happens to be a previous rank of 92. And I've quit promoting this term for this, uh, um, this keyword set. So it's not on the list anywhere. So if I go over here, 
uh, I picked up six and as we scroll down you can see here it blacks them in and so scrape stuff forward slash this and forward slash this both of those are ranking and again I have domain check so it's coming up based off of the actual domain and if I go down I can see I've got another one at 50 uh, and so on and so forth and this is where having more uh, like say 500 URLs and not ticking off that box that says stop when it's found uh, would come in handy if I want to see that. Now I can also right click if I wanted to go here uh, I can right click and open this in a default browser so I can open up any of the particular URLs in a default browser and then as I go through here I get to see other things as well such as my graph down here which you can see is changing. Uh, it's color coded so I've got Google and then I've got Yahoo and of course Bing and I get to toggle between a bar graph here and a line graph so I can track these over time uh, data I started on this particular uh, project back uh, August 19th and so um, as you can see it's tracking over time the different ranks and Google's had some nice increase for this term um, and then as we go through here you can see other ones as it's running through and then I can also if I wanted to you know like I said do just say uh, Bing and Yahoo or Bing and Google rather and it, we can see this gives me a uh, rank for all of these terms and lets me run through there and then it gives me an average rank down at the bottom as well uh, the average feature is something uh, that was recently added so I don't have enough data down here to show it but it will give a tracking chart over time as well just like uh, all the other terms do and then it gives a rank here in the value you can see the change previous uh, rank and then uh, the actual date of course um, this is all of your different keywords averaged together and then you can see like where it has a dash uh, for this particular term I started promoting it and uh, it just now previous time previously it was not found and now it is found and I'm just working in the top 100 also got the option to uh, zero in a little bit here so for instance this looks pretty tight it's kind of hard to tell what's going on there because it's ranking position number one I can do a scale of the top 10 and then I can see one two three a lot better whereas if I'm looking at something more like uh, here 17 for instance top 10 it's not going to show because it's, it's ranked 17 so I can do top 100 or top 1000 uh, and see where everything is ranking out there. Then I also have the option to print my graph uh, if I wanted to print that for various purposes as well. And that is the basic premise of how the rank tracker works and then um, there's other features that they said they're going to add that just aren't done yet. Of course this isn't even released at the time of this video. Uh, it's kind of just a sneak peek to show you what is coming down the road for premium plugins with Scrapebox.